hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to integrate ClickUp to notion let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here with notion i need you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Integrating ClickUp with Notion can help streamline your project management and note-taking workflows. Now, as you can see, when you hover to the upper right corner of your ClickUp account, there's going to be a quick actions menu where you can select and go to the App Center. If you type in on the All Apps and search for Notion, you see that there's no direct native integration between ClickUp and Notion. All right but there are another ways for us to explore and one of them is using the the notion integration now i highly suggest you log into your notion account and click this um option that says add to notion once you've done that as you can see these are going to be my new connections and all i have to do is look for the click up now click on the see all so you can discover new connections and hover down to where you can find the ClickUp. It's just around here beside PagerDuty. I want you to click on it. Now from here, all I have to do is just follow the on-screen prompts. And we are going to connect ClickUp to Notion by connecting the workspace. Just wait for it. And now we have successfully integrated ClickUp to Notion. So basically you can't do that directly using your ClickUp account but however you can just switch to your notion account and of course by doing so you can efficiently use ClickUp for tracking tasks and projects here on the uh, notion while using the uh, those integration for documentation brainstorming and knowledge sharing right now after you have done that make sure you have properly connected ClickUp and notion as you can see we have already um, connected that. And another platform that we can explore is using Zapier. Now, you can simply click this orange button to connect these apps and have all these endless possibilities. When you click that, you would be forwarded to another page wherein we are going to create our first Zap. If you are a fan of a Deep Laughs channel, you know that we have so many Zapier tutorials for you guys that you might want to check in our channel. As you can see, there's a lot. And while at it, you might want to click the subscribe button so you get updates on our latest content. You see, we are here to help you solve your problems quickly. Okay, switching over to Zapier will require us to select the event for ClickUp. And for example, you wanted to test the triggers when a new comment is added to a task or are you going to choose it triggers when new folders are created so it's it, this is dependent entirely to you all right in my case i'm going to choose the first one and of course i have already integrated the accounts so i'm just going to click on continue and from here you can choose the workspace and that's going to be deep labs how to tutorials i'm going to choose the space and just follow through with the video a list is going to be project one task is going to be um task three users is going to be deep laps i'm going to switch on through and click on continue to test the uh, automation and as you can see automating repetitive tasks for example, creating a task in ClickUp when a page in Notion is updated ensures that important information doesn't get lost or forgotten. You can streamline processes and of course, by automatically pushing updates, creating new tasks, or linking irrelevant information between the two platforms. Once you are happy with that and the, uh, the uh, trigger is doing good, go to Notion. And from here, we need to choose an event. For example, it creates an item in a database or add contents to a page depending on your goal in my case it's that i'm gonna click on the uh, notion account i'm gonna log in of course i'm going to select these pages 
allow access and authorize these apps once you've done that all they're gonna do is sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you okay Now, the next option after Zapier is using Make.com, wherein we can conduct ClickUp and Notion integrations. Similarly to Zapier, all we have to do is choose a trigger. For example, for ClickUp, it triggers when a specific folder event happens or it triggers when a specific list event happens. In the Notion, however, you can, of course, select an action. For example, it creates a new database as a subpage in a specific page. The good thing about Make.com is that you can swap the apps if you wanted from Notion to ClickUp or just revert back to the original ClickUp to Notion integration. I'm going to log into my account. Now, once you are inside the Make.com account, I want you to click on the upper right corner wherein we're going to create a new scenario. First off is we're going to rename this one as we're going to select the uh, app that's going to be click up type in click up and press enter and just follow along now i'm going to choose it triggers when a specific task or subtask event happens click on okay and we're going to add another module which is going to be the notion there you go now i'm going to use creates a new item in database and just click on the create connection and click on okay now doing this is going to be allowing you to create dashboards that pull information from ClickUp, right? Make sure that's correct. And this integration gives a clear at a glance view of the project progress without having to dive deep into ClickUp's task list. Make sure the integration token is correct. And click on OK. And just follow along. And again, from here, by integrating ClickUp and Notion, you can now create a more cohesive, efficient, and organized work environment. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.